Hello folks, Kyle here, Dark 30 Outdoors. Hey, today I'm gonna do the upgrade on my Suzuki outboard motor, the four stroke 9.9. It's gonna be converted to, the, to a 20 horsepower motor. To do so, I have three parts. I've got the, uh, the flame arrester, and that is part number 1371089L00. I've got the silencer seal. That is part number 13832890L00. I'll include, include these uh, in, the, uh, in the description of, for the video once I uh, complete it. Uh, and then there's the uh, electronic control module, the ECM. Uh, if I can read that, I don't know. It's part number three three nine three zero eight nine L two zero. It's just got a plug that it plugs in. So, okay. So the first step in upgrading the outboard motor will be completed in here. <laughs> I'm going to take the, uh, the flame arrester and I'm going to put it in the silencer seal, like so. Right like so, if you can see that. Alright, let's head to the boat. Okay, so yesterday I did a short and I noticed it was awful dirty, so I did clean it up. But let's get the cowling off and get started with this project okay so this is the air box and that uh, flame arrester and silencer seal it goes right on top of that so I have to take this air box off and slide it forward and then I'll be able to take the old restrictor plate off and put the new flame arrester on but I gotta take I gotta take some of this off so bear with me this air box, it does have a bolt on it right down below here. That takes a, uh, a number 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that bolt off. There we go. There. All right, now the next step is this air hose i want to take that off the air box my hands can't hardly take that there's that and now I can't, I could take these things off, but I saw another guy, he just kind of worked this out. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I want to try it that way or the other way. I'll try it this way first, going real, real slow. Just pop it off this clip right here. There we go. Got it off of that. Now I just want to try to work it forward. Okay. <laughs> A little bit of an intermission there. I had to take this out of that and then lift this assembly up off of the, uh, the uh, air box here. I'm bumping the camera. but So now that, that air box, it has to tilt this way to get it out of there. That, that was my problem, and I keep bumping into the camera. I apologize for that, but. Uh, so now I can pull this out a lot more and uh, gain the leverage I needed to get that off of it. So now, as you can see, this is the old restrictor plate. I'll take that off. I think if I wasn't filming this, it would go a lot quicker and smoother, but there you go. That's what the uh, restrictor plate looks like. So now I'll get that flame arrester put on there. Start putting it back together. Now where does this thing go? <laughs> I 
get my electronics reconfigured here. Okay, this piece right here, when I was putting it back together, it did give me a little bit of a, it was a little bit of a trick, but I did get it back, fastened back, I took this electrical nodule out, I refastened in the rubber uh, gaskets, and then I put the electrical nodule back down in there. So, just as a little bit of a tip for troubleshooting, for anyone else that might want to take on a project like this with the Suzuki 9.9 .9 outboard motor, that's something to look for is that this air box doesn't want to come out unless, at least for me, it didn't want to come out unless I disconnected that stuff and I was able to pull it out more this way. But then when I went to put these things back, it was a little bit tricky, but you know, that's just something to be mindful of. Okay, one last part to change. This right here is the ECM which I believe that stands for electronic control module. It uh, controls the fuel injection. So if you can see, there's two little uh, grabbers. I'm gonna push those out and work this out and then just unplug it. It should be that easy. So I think I'm gonna run out of hands, but we'll see if I can get this to Okay, I think I got it coming. All right. Stay down in there. Push this button and release it. There we go. I can't see what I'm doing. Ha! As you can see, it's got this rubber this rubber uh, protective uh, sleeve around it and that's to protect it against the vibration okay I got the new ECM uh, fitted into the the rubber sleeve and we'll get it plugged in and uh, force it back down in there right, you know. This is a little bit tricky because I gotta get the sleeve to go down in there, not just the, the unit. Boy, howdy, it's a tight fit in here, folks. It is a tight fit. Easier to work it up out of there than to work it back in. I think I got it, though. I see the rubbers all around the inside of the plastic, uh, uh, holder, if you will. So, my rubber sleeve is inside the, the plastic holder, so that's good. I think I just got to press it back down in between the clips. She is good to go. All right, folks. That was all there was to it. I am not the most mechanically inclined person. I can do basic things like change a flat tire, change the oil in my car, change brakes, you know, that sort of thing. But not a lot of complex tools involved in this. A screwdriver and a, uh, a socket. That was it. Um, 10 millimeter. Oh, one bolt. I did loosen the, uh, the, uh, the plastic uh, frame bolts on the, on the other side just to give me a little bit more room to wiggle that air box out of there. And that was it. So I tell you what, I'm gonna hook it up and tow it to the lake and we'll get it out there and get a speed test and see how she does. 20 horsepower outboard, just like that. All right, folks. Well, here I am. I'm at uh, boat ramp at Allen Creek Lake. Got the boat launched. I did fire up the motor. It fired up just fine. I've got her idling. I wanna be sure she does all that for a good five or six minutes. Okay. So, I'm getting ready to head out on the water here and do a quick zip. <laughs> we'll see how quick she goes, I don't know. We'll definitely test the, uh, the speed. I know that uh, before, old Esox Chaos there, she had a top speed of 13 miles per hour. And that's got a, uh, that's a three blade prop with I believe the 10, the 10 pitch. Let's get out on the water.
folks. Pretty impressed with how the old Suzuki handled. Uh, I think I saw a max speed of 21.3 miles per hour, uh, which is uh, really good. I'm happy with that. But the whole shot, she just gets up on plane right now, whereas before it was it was kind of a process. But this thing, she just pops right up on plane like right now. So really happy. Um, didn't miss a beat. There was no uh, no uh, like revving or. Sometimes, you know, high rev limiting, none of that. She just sailed. She was, uh, <laughs> she was roaring as far as I could tell. Uh, tried to get a few pictures, a little bit of video footage. Again, it's, it's, we're kind of in twilight. It is, it is a really nice evening. Um, I think it was, uh, my car said it was 64, 65 when I got here. But it, it is getting kind of late. It's uh, it's approaching seven o'clock. So I just wanted to get out and uh, let her rip, see how she did on down the lake and back. So uh, boy, she's running like a champ now. I'm, I like it <laughs> a lot. All right, this will close out this video. As always, thanks for watching.